Our GMA cover story, the historic hearing that's riveted the nation. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and Christine Blasey Ford questioned about the allegations against him, but some who watched the hearing across the country, they say it led to them recalling painful memories of their own experiences and they're sharing their survival stories on social media. It is really fascinating to hear all these. Not, fascinating is not, the, is not the right word. It just really grabs you. No, it does. It, it affects everyone, yeah. but especially, as you could only imagine, survivors of sexual assault. Many of them never know what will stir up those painful memories. But of course, this has certainly been a week full of triggering news. And while painful, some have found it actually cathartic and are stepping forward to share their stories to let others know they are not alone. I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. For alleged victims of sexual assault like Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who we watched testify against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, trauma can be triggered at any moment, and the harm lasts a lot longer than the day they were abused. For some people, trauma can be a lifelong struggle. There are things that can trigger the trauma or re-traumatize you. And for some, that may be a smell, a sound, or even hearing what we've been hearing the past couple days about sexual trauma and fear. While it's dominating headlines and creating awareness, it's also a constant reminder for survivors, causing many to relive past painful events. The National Sexual Assault Hotline saw a 147% increase above normal volume during Thursday's hearings. Psychiatrist Dr. Janet Taylor weighing in with how to directly confront the pain survivors are feeling. The way you heal yourself is not to shut it away and not to be silent, but to speak about it, to acknowledge it, to find therapy if you need it, to find support, and recognize that you can replace your sorrow. People commenting all Thursday and overnight on social media that the hearings are stirring up once suppressed memories. Another tip on coping is to understand that when you've had so much psychological stress and distress, one of the best things that you can do is to be kind to yourself by eating right, exercising, and understand that it's all about balance. When you talk about what's happened, you realize you're not alone. You can get the support that you need and understand that it's a process, but it can be done. And we have some more tips from USA Today. Talk to people who know your story and care for you. Also, focus on what you can control. Remind yourself of the things you can influence in your life, like how you react, and that you are not in that painful situation anymore. Also, I think this one's very important. Don't make any major decisions. Yeah. When those painful memories are triggered, it's not a good idea to say, I want to switch partners, I want to switch jobs, because you're not thinking clearly, you're thinking through the pain. Think that might fix it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So many conversations. I was stuck over the weekend at an airport, long delay, and there's a woman who was talking, and this was one of the subjects, even before the hearing, but just talking about um, all that was going on and she said that she was having a conversation with her family and her brother and her father were saying like many men say well why didn't she come forward sooner why didn't she come forward sooner and this woman said that she could even tell her own family that it had happened to her that well, she as this could, conversation was right, happening she's like she said she could even bring herself to tell her own family so can you understand why it's difficult for someone else to tell complete strangers and in the subway when you walk around they've been putting up posters saying hashtag why i didn't report and people are handwriting yeah. why they didn't report all throughout the new york city subways it's pretty incredible to see all of that support and everyone saying what happened to them in an anonymous way but yeah, feeling that support powerful. it's powerful they know they're not alone yep. yeah not mm -hmm. alone not alone hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching